What's going on gamers? Today, we're gonna to be going over how to install plugins on your Minecraft server. But before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all of our new tutorials we upload, just like this one. Vanilla Minecraft can be fun, but it might get a bit stale after a while. Being able to add new features to the game without waiting for Mojang to do so can be the key to alleviating any boredom you might have in your server. This is where plugins are going to come into play. Plugins are server-side pieces of software that can add features to a server without the need to make any client-side changes as you may need to do so with mods. There are tens of thousands of plugins that are available across the internet, so there's almost never a time where you can't find something you want or need. In order to install plugins on your server, your server is going to need to be running either Spigot or Paper as the server version. Spigot and Paper are both going to accept plugins from the Bucket and Spigot websites. If you're unsure on how to change your server version, you can go ahead and wait till the end of the video to see how we do it, or you can check below the video so that we can link you to a video that we've already done on how to do this. If you didn't already know, we have a great curated list of plugins from Bucket and Spigot that is directly integrated into your panel. This is gonna be one of the easiest ways to install plugins on your Java server, and I'm gonna show you just how you can use it. Our first step, of course, as always, is we're gonna go ahead and head to our server panel and stop our server. This prevents any big issues from occurring when you're working on your server and it's on. Once our servers come to a stop, we can go ahead and scroll down to the jar file selection part of the page. From here, go ahead and click on it and make sure that you have a paper or a spigot jar installed. You can either type paper or type spigot to look for the jars and then you can also scroll up or scroll down to find those jars. At Apex, we definitely recommend paper over any other sort of jar. So make sure that you select paper and then you can click on the left side of the page on the plugin list once you're sure that you're on a paper server. From here, you can either use bucket or spigot plugins. Make sure to select your source to spigot or bucket. Then you can go ahead and search up the name of the plugin you'd like to install. Today, we're gonna to be using Corporatect as an example, but you do not need to install Corporatect. From here, you can go ahead and click on the plugin you'd like to install then on the left of the page, make sure that you check the server version. This is the Minecraft version that your server is on. Our server is on 1.16.5, so we're gonna be sure to use that server version to correspond with the plugin versions on the right. As you can see here, 19.4 is a compatible version and seems like it might be the latest one. When we click on the version dropdown at the bottom, we're gonna be looking for the most updated or the most recently updated plugin at the top. When we're sure that we've got the correct version, we can go ahead and click on install at the bottom right of the page. When you click on install, it's gonna take a second to download and then install onto your server. But once it does, you're gonna see that you have a bunch of new buttons on the page and it'll say installed on the page itself. Then you can go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top of the page to either start or restart your server. Once you've got your server started up, or once your server is in the process of getting started up, you can click on console to the left of the page. Then you can go ahead and wait for your server to fully start up. Once your server fully starts up, you can go ahead and type PL in the console bar, and then you can hit enter. The server is going to tell you whether or not your plugin has been installed. As you can see here, we have one plugin installed and it's Corporatect, the one that we intended on installing, which means you have successfully installed your plugin on your server. As awesome as our plugin list is, sometimes the plugin list may not have what you're looking for. In that case, you might need to search online for a direct download of a plugin jar file. There's a few popular sources to get plugins, such as the Dev Bucket site or the Spigot MC site, sometimes directly from developers' GitHubs, pages, or even websites. 
generally the best way to find a plugin online is simply by googling the name of the plugin or keywords of the plugin. So here I'm going to show you what happens when you head over to our plugin list and look up for a plugin that maybe isn't there or one that you can't find. You can of course head to a search engine like Google and then you can go ahead and search up the plugin that you would actually like to install. Maybe you have a specific one in mind or you just need to look for one. You can go ahead and search up your keywords for your plugin and then you can go ahead and hit enter. From here, you can go ahead and open up a page of a plugin that you would like to install. We definitely recommend installing from Spigot or Bucket. From here, make sure that it's compatible with your version of Minecraft. We're running a 1.16 version, so just make sure that whatever plugin you're grabbing is compatible with your server. Then you can go ahead and click on the download button of the plugin page. When you download that, it'll give you a file. Make sure to keep that file. And then make sure to move that to a folder where you can easily locate it later on or you can just keep it at the bottom of the page because we're going to be heading back to our server in a second here once you've located that file and can easily locate it later on you can go ahead and head back to your server and click on the name of your server to head back to the main panel page then make sure to stop your server before making any big changes from here, you can go ahead and click on FTP file access to the left and then log in with your panel information. Then you can go ahead and find the plugins folder. And from here, we can go ahead and click on upload to the left and click and drag the file to the drop files here to upload part of the page. Doesn't matter where you grab the file from, just as long as you move it to that part of the page. Once it's uploaded, it'll say 100% and at the bottom, it'll say uploaded one out of one files. Then you can go ahead and click on the name of your server at the top to head back to the main page and either start or restart your server. Once your server is in the process of starting up again, you can go ahead and click on console to the left of the page. And when your server is in the process of getting fully started up or is fully started, you can go ahead and type in the console typing bar PL. And when your server has the online notification, then you can hit enter and the server is going to tell you what sorts of plugins you have installed or if you've installed your plugins correctly. As you can see here, it tells us we have Core Protect from earlier and Tree Gravity because that is a plugin that we most recently installed, meaning that we've installed our plugins correctly onto this server. there are a couple of things that could go wrong during this process and one of them is your plugin just not loading sometimes after you restart the server plugins still might not load you can check if a plugin is loaded by heading into console and typing in pl if the plugin doesn't show up you're going to need to restart the server and see if that fixes the issue or you might need to try and reinstall the plugin or any dependencies that you may not have installed at first Another issue that may occur is you not having a plugins folder on your server. If you're trying to manually install plugins to the server, but you can't find the plugins folder, then either your server doesn't accept plugins because you set it to a regular Minecraft jar. So all you'll need to do to fix this is just change it to a spigot or a paper jar file. As always, we recommend paper here at Apex. So that's what we're gonna do here to fix the issue. Change the version, create new world, to avoid any issues and then just restart the server and when the server restarts all you're going to need to do is reinstall those plugins restart the server and you're going to be up and running with your plugins installed well folks that's all i've got for you today i hope you found this video very useful and as always i hope you have lots of fun thanks for watching if you want to see more great content like this then subscribe or click these videos until next time gamers